In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate my Yamaha MU50 integrating with my computer. The software that I have up on the screen isn't the software I usually use. I usually arrange and compose music with my MU50 using sheet music, using the bass and treble clef. I know people do arrange and compose music with these virtual keyboards. I'm gonna use this for the purpose of this video. I'm not really gonna go over the software itself. I'm just gonna show how the MU50 sound module can integrate with software programs. If I hit the play button, a lot of you will hear a synthesizer and a piano sound. If I simply solo this particular track, you're just hearing the synthesizer. Now on the other hand, if I mute it, now on this other track, you're just hearing the piano. If you notice on my MU50 sound module, if I hit play, we see MIDI channel two is being used. On the other hand, if I hit solo, Now we see that MIDI channel one is being used. Obviously channel one is the poly synth pad sound. And if I slide over, channel two is the grand piano sound. That's why you're getting those two different sounds. Now, as I said, if I play them together, I wanna let people know this sounds horrible. I wasn't really trying to arrange and compose an actual music score. I, I'm just doing this for the demonstration of this video. I wanna let people know, if I switch onto this particular track, it's on MIDI channel two. But if I switch it to MIDI channel 10, which I'm gonna do right now, if I solo it, As everybody can tell, MIDI channel 10 by default goes to a virtual drum set. Pretty much on all sound modules, that's pretty much how MIDI's set up. So that's some of the cool stuff you can do using a MIDI sound module. I just want to say in most software programs, you will have a setup option to select what external sound module you want to use. For this particular video, I had to select the EV10 USB MIDI interface because that's coming in between my Yamaha MU50 sound module and the computer. That's what's allowing the two of them to connect up to one another. On your particular software, it might be a little bit different settings that you'd have to set, but the older sound modules can connect up to the newer computers easy enough. You'll just have to have some type of interface to do it. As you can tell, the EV10, it's upside down, but it's got the USB port and the MIDI port, and that's how it's able to integrate with the computer. Pretty simple, you can get them for like 30, 40 bucks. They're not that expensive. I know a lot of MIDI type stuff now connects to the computer using USB, but I got that Yamaha Mu50 sound module back in 1996, so it's over 20 years old. But anyway, I hope this video is a little bit helpful or, or informative to people. All I really wanted to show is that you can switch from different instruments and you can integrate it in with the computer. So hopefully that came through in this video.